Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today I'm talking about diverse 2021 readathons. So for me personally, diversity means reading people who are from the BIPOC community, people who are from the LGBT plus community, people who are writing from outside of the US, ideally uh, translated works, people from countries and areas which are largely not published from, and voices which are largely underrepresented, such as specific areas of the disability community, both physical disability and neurodiversity, um, things like that. So I figured how can I encourage other people to read more diversely as well? And I think one of the best things that I could do would be to research readathons that you could join that are diverse or are helping you to kind of maybe diversify your shelves, diversify your reading, um, just in little spurts. So if you do one of these readathons, it could help you diversify things for a week, a month, whatever you want. So a lot of these are diverse. I did throw in a few of my faves, uh, which are by no means specifically diverse. You can make them diverse. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one I want to mention is the Queer Lit Readathon, which has been hosted before November and December and May and June. So I'm not quite sure when the next iteration will be, but I have done this one before. It's fabulous. It focuses on, like it says, queer lit uh, and underrepresented voices and it's hosted by Kathy and Rogan, um, and I will leave all the links for everything down below. Um, another one which is uncertain is Femme Fan Tale Readathon. This is focused on fantasy written by women, uh, and this has been hosted in August, March, September, uh, so again, I'm not really sure when it will be next year, but this is hosted by Jean at Jean Bookish Thoughts. And the last one I want to throw up here is one that I have done for many years, and I really love it. This is Scally Wagathon, which is hosted by Allie at Hardback Hoarder, Paper Fairy, and Read All the Books. Um, and it is usually around summer. It's been May and August before, so look out for that as well. This is a piratical sea-themed readathon, which, as you know, I am all about the ocean books. I'm reading them currently in January. Now let's get into month-specific readathons. So in January, there isn't really much going on because I think a lot of people are starting out the year. For me personally, I do Merry January, which is mer-themed books ocean themes, pirates, mermaids, sailors, etc. Um, and the only other thing I have for January is the Buzz Wordathon, which is hosted by Kayla at Books and Lala. The word for the Buzz Word Breedathon in January is dream. So if you're looking to get in on that, dream is what you would need to find in a title for January. So let's move right along to February. February is Black History Month. So I want to mention Blackathon, which is focused on black voices, and this is hosted all of February by Jesse at Bowties and Books. Uh, I also want to talk about the Black Lit Challenge, which uh, coming up this year is focusing on black literature, and it is February 1st to the 28th by Seji at The Artisan Geek. She is an incredible creator, um, highly recommend. And there is also FF February, which is focused on female, female reads, which we love to see. And the last thing to be aware of in February is for Buzzwordathon, the word is a color, such as yellow, blue, black, you get it. Let's move right along to March, which is Women's History Month. I couldn't find any specific readathons for that. But for me personally, I try to read women's history or uh, women's own voices uh, books or like feminist works. Um, and the only other thing I have for March is for the Buzz Wordathon, the word is time. Let's talk April. Uh, April doesn't really have a theme for the month, I don't think, but it does have the Disability Readathon, which is focused on disabled writers, stories, and characters, and it happens the entire month of April. Um, it is hosted by Erin at The Geeky Gimp and Anna at Anna G. Again, links down below. Also in April, the Buzz Wordathon word is anything to do with space. So for instance, I have like the weight of the stars, the sound of stars, universe, astronaut, sun, you get it. Let's switch to May. May is Asian American History Month. 
Uh, so there is the Asian Readathon, which is focused on Asian authors and characters, and this is mainly hosted by Cindy at Read with Cindy from May 1st to the 15th, so it's a two-week readathon. And the buzz wordathon word for May is house or home. Next up is one of my favorite reading months. This is June, which is Pride Month. So uh, there is the Blackout Buddy Read, which was hosted June 5th to the 19th last year. It's hosted by Books with Shay, Lamour Day Books, and Be But Bookish. I think it sounds amazing. There is also the Queer Blackathon, which was June 19th to the 20th, two-day readathon, which was Jesse at Bowties and Books, Francina Simone and Miona Reads, as well as the novel Lush. Again, unsure about the dates, but somewhere in June. Uh, and the buzzwordathon word for June is name or title, such as um, someone's name, such as Ove or Eileen or Matilda as well as a title such as Queen or King, Mr. or Mrs. July has one of my favorite, favorite, favorite readathons of all time. This is the Fuckathon, which is all July, hosted by Noria at Noria Reads. This is a readathon focused on telling the systems in place to go F themselves. Uh, the prompts last year were amazing. All of the rec videos from Noria are wonderful, her whole attitude and just use of profanity really warms my heart. Um, so definitely that's one to check out. It's one of my favorites of the year. And lastly, the buzzwordathon for that month is last. Let's talk about August. So August is Women in Translation Month. So there is a readathon called Women in Translation Readathon, uh, which last year was August 24th to the 31st. So it was a week hosted by Jennifer at Insert Literary Pun Here, and Matthew at Matthew Scarapa, and Kendra at Kendra Winchester. Um, so uh, if you are into reading Women in Translation, this would be great to check out. Um, as well as last year, there was the Spooky Smart Bitch Readathon, hosted by Jordaline at Jordaline Reads, and myself at Biblio Obscura, um, which focused on diverse horror. So. It was really interesting in our sections to do like vintage horror, queer horror, um, BIPOC horror, and different types of horror that are outside of like the white male literary canon of horror. Uh, so that's definitely one to check out if you like horror and spooky reads. And last for August is the Buzzwordathon, which is a time of day, such as evening, morning, afternoon, etc. Next, let's talk about September. So September is Latinx Heritage Month, which is actually from September 15th to October 15th. For the sake of this video, I'm just putting it in September because that's when it starts. So for this, we have the Latin Exathon, which happened September 15th to the 24th last year. So it's a one week readathon. This focuses on Latinx authors and voices. So this was hosted by a bunch of people for the love of books, book ramble, Yogi with a book, Booky Charm, Book Cave for the Love of Books, and Her Nose Stuck in a Book. I think, I think that's all of them. Um, so it sounds really great, and I'm hoping to get to it this year. Um, in September, we also have the Monsterathon, which is all of September and is hosted by Kate at Chapter Kate, as well as other hosts that she like combines with. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent readathon, which combines monster themes which diff with different prompts. So while this isn't a specifically diverse readathon, you can certainly make it so, as well as some of the prompts do focus on diverse options. So uh, if you like monsters, definitely check it out. And the last thing to mention for September is that the buzzwordathon is the word dark. And I think for October, we all know that that is the Halloween season. So there are four things in October that just sound amazing. Uh, we have the Ace Race, which is focused on Ace Spectrum main characters, and it runs all of October, and it's hosted by Nene from Illustrative Pages. Uh, we also have Fortnite Frights, which is October 18th to the 31st, so it's like two weeks, and this was hosted by Seji at The Artisan Geek and it focused on diverse spooky reads. I participated in Fortnite Frights last year and it was absolutely excellent. Uh, we also have the Witchathon, which is celebrating uh, witch holidays, 
but the one that I have specifically done is the one in October because it really fits into like spooky vibes. So it runs October 24th to the 31st, so it's a one week readathon. Um, and I will leave links down below. And the last thing to mention is the buzzwordathon word is something elemental. So such as like sky, wind, air, storm, sea, ice, <laughs> beach, uh, river, tide, fire, ember, burning, uh, bog, wood, earthquake, you get it. Like something elemental, earth, wind, fire, spirit. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you know what that's from, let me know. All right, so we're gonna move on to November. So November is Native American Heritage Month in America. Um, so we have, of course, the Indigathon, which is hosted um, by Brody at Etu Brody and Michelle at Thor wants another letter. Um, and this is focusing on indigenous reads during November. Um, I did it last year. It was absolutely amazing and really gets me reading more indigenous works not only in America, but around the world. Um, there is also non-binary November, which is all of November and is focusing on non-binary authors and rep. And this is hosted by Blue at Library of Books and Daydreams. We also have Nonfiction November, which is all November. And this is hosted by um, Olive at A Book Olive, Sabrina at Stick a Chino, Natalie at Curious Reader, Jill at The Book Bully, and Andrea at Infinite Text. <laughs> and the buzzwordathon for November is Lost. And we are to December. So there are two things I want to talk about. One is the Bias Breaker Readathon, which is the readathon that I created and just hosted with eight other of my favorite reading buddies. Um, and this is all about breaking book biases and diversifying your reading and amplifying underrepresented creators. So um, that is the focus of the readathon. So of course, I'm going to mention it here. It ran for two and a half weeks at the beginning of December, and I will definitely be doing it again in either December 2021 or January 2022, depending on timing. And the last thing is that the Buzz Wordathon word for December is a day, month, or season, such as uh, autumn, fall, winter, summer, spring, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, January, February. I mean, you know what it is. So that finishes up my readathon recommendations. Please let me know if I've missed any down below, and I will insert them into the video description. Um, I really hope that people try to read more diversely, not just for a little bit, but all throughout the year. So I think it's really great if people are aware of readathons they can join that help them push towards those goals. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to say bye for now. Please let me know if you enjoyed this by hitting the thumbs up or subscribing. That would really mean a lot. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye.